Welcome back to another video. We're out here at Staten Island Airfield. The weather is actually pretty nice. It's been freezing and rainy and gross the last couple of days. But hey, look, there's even some bugs flying. <laughs> uh, it's like 50 degrees, very, very gorgeous weather, especially for this time of the year. Today, I'm kind of rushing out a video. Uh, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, today's Tuesday, the O3 Air unit from DJI is announced. Everything that was kind of expected works with the uh, V2 goggles, works with the obviously the goggles too. My goodness, their naming convention needs to get better. And it's not just that, it's their drones and their action cameras, everything. DJI, name your stuff better. But <laughs> since I'm not a giant YouTuber with a giant audience, I was not included on that release. So obviously I do not have an O3 Air unit yet, <laughs> much to my chagrin but I do have one on its way. Since the weather was nice, I wanted to get one of my quads up in the air and chat to you guys about what I think of the announcement and also what I'm gonna do with the O3 Air unit when I finally get my hands on one. Uh, but let's get up in the air and get flying and I'll see you in a second. Okie dokie, so I've got the drone powered up, ready to get into this, gonna drop the goggles and we're gonna get up in the air and we're gonna talk about that O3 Air unit. So without further ado. Oh, it feels so good to be back with this five inch. 50 megabits per second video. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, while I'm super excited for how good the picture supposedly looks and seems to look on that O3 Air unit, the original DJI system still has phenomenally good video on their DVR. So <clears throat> let's first start out with the elephant in the room. Am I going to get an O3 air unit and am I going to install it on a quad? And the answer is yes and yes. Uh, I'm actually going to install it on the quad that I'm flying right now, um, which is the Rotor Riot solderless build review coming shortly. Uh, but I really wanted to uh, try out the O3 air unit, see how it works. I'm not ready to flip all of my quads over um, because I don't see a ton of benefit across the board. It is great when you want to have a lighter weight freestyle quad. So I think my Amagod 250, I think that's gonna get an O3 air unit. Um, <clears throat> but I think some of my quads, especially my lighter quads and my uh, Cinewhoop quads, until that thing has been out and really kind of tested and beat up, I don't wanna switch anything that I'm using in a production environment over to that new, uh, potentially untested technology. Is it really untested? No it's probably gonna be just as reliable and durable as the current air unit and air unit light. But again, I don't wanna switch everything over in any kind of haste. And also I really do like the current system. Uh, so that's really it with the air unit. Uh, super excited to get it. I'm really excited to throw it into this Skyliner uh, frame. And I am gonna do a bit of testing, a couple interesting review testing kind of things with that O3 air unit and possibly some other GGI products, but we'll see. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about was the goggles too. Um, so I'm definitely not getting the goggles too, uh, at least off the jump. Right now I'm very, very happy with my uh, goggles V2, which will work directly with that O3 air unit uh, and work with all my legacy quads. And that really is the key. Until I could switch all of my quads over, uh, which for DJI I have uh, two big cine whoops, one small cine whoop, uh, the 250, uh, two three inches, two five inches, and a big seven inch with that diversity antenna, which I really like that the new Air Unit 03 has that diversity antenna in it. Um, <clears throat> but until I could switch everything over, I would need to carry two sets of goggles. And if you've been around this channel for a minute, you'll know that I switched from the DJI remote, the first generation one, to uh, Crossfire ELRS because I didn't want to carry two remote controllers. Uh, while I still have to carry another uh, pair of goggles and I'm flying analog, uh, and that isn't gonna change anytime soon, I really didn't want to, I, well, I didn't want to, I am not going to jump into the uh, goggles too until they're backwards compatible. And I know they're rumored to be backwards compatible, but until that's actually the case, I am not ready to jump on that board yet. Um, and I'm a little nervous, uh, both Josh Will Bardwell and Mads Tech both have uh, made reference to the fact that DJI doesn't necessarily give you exactly what you want, the way you want it. Uh, so I am a little nervous that that legacy support is gonna mean breaking compatibility with certain things about the legacy 
uh, air units. And what I mean by that is uh, there's a good chance when they roll it out, they're going to have an update firmware for those older air units and vistas and everything else that breaks compatibility with the older goggles or the older system. Ooh, there's a hawk up here. <clears throat> I promise I'm being safe. I don't want to touch the hawk. I'm being cognizant of my flying. But yeah, uh, so with that new air unit and software, I'm a little skeptical about really buying into switching over to the goggles too yet. And uh, that's basically what has me on pause for that type of uh, purchase to switch over to the goggles too. Uh, eventually, will I? Probably. I really, really like the form factor. I've put them on already and tried them out with the Avada and I really think they're much more comfortable than the current goggles. Uh, it is a little disconcerting that I can't replace the antennas, but the antennas on it seem to work really well, uh, at least from everybody's testing so far and from my use of it with the Avada. And that pretty much sums up my thoughts, at least. I'm definitely excited about this O3 air unit, uh, but I'm still very, very skeptical about those uh, goggles V2. I'm not going to jump on board completely with everything in my current fleet, uh, but I will probably start to slowly switch stuff over, starting with uh, the quad I'm flying right now, as well as the Oh My God 250, because I would really like to not have to carry an action camera with that uh, drone. Uh, I'm reading 20.0, I'm going to come in here for a nice gentle landing. Boom. There we go. So that's basically my thoughts with the O3 air unit. I'm super looking forward to it. I can't wait to get it on my first quad and see how it really flies. Look forward to a video coming out probably second week of December or so. That seems to be when the shipping uh, and delivery estimates are currently, but stay tuned to this channel. I'm going to let you know what I think, and I'm going to do some comparisons. We've seen camera comparisons before and you kind of guess where that's going, but, uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody tuning into this video, hanging out with me while I talk about the O3 Air unit, even though I really don't have anything substantive to add. I would recommend if you want more information, go check out Mads Tech, go check out Oh My God, go check out Joshua Bardwell, and go check out Chris Rosser, because there are some resonance issues uh, with this O3 Air unit that you're going to have to be a little careful of. And also, there's a lot of questions about frame fitment. My frames are okay to drop in. I've done the measurements, done my uh, rough kind of sketch in, and also I saw the Rotor Riot video where they kind of confirmed, yep, yeah, you're good to go. Um, other than that, yeah, let me know down in the comments, what do you think of the O3 Air unit? Are any of you jumping on board? Are any of you jumping on board with the goggles too? Love to know your thoughts on that. Uh, as always, affiliate links are down below. Uh, they don't cost you anything. They basically help uh, me do more stuff on this channel, possibly buy more O3 Air units, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, with all that said, thank you for joining me on this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, bye.